they're worried about what's in it for them. This is what's in it for them. And so you've got to be worried about how can I provide this value to them? And then you'll receive this. Don't chase the money, chase the value. We've all heard the saying, money doesn't grow on trees, or money is the root of all evil. Well, in this video, I'm going to prove to you that both of those statements are completely wrong. So over the past few years of posting videos, you guys have seen the ins and outs of what I do around here. Well, over the last couple years, I've gotten comments from people, and there are people who want to know how I sell these plants, or how do you sell plants and make money, Mike? I mean, that seems to be what it boils down to when people are trying to turn this into a business, you can propagate plants all day long, but if you're not making any money with them and that was your goal, then we got a real problem, right? So I wanna keep things simple here, but I wanna try and help weed out the junk and show you the way to make money with plants and why your goal should not be money when you're doing this and literally show you that money does grow on trees. So before we go any further, let's help get this video out there to you guys that want to see it. So if you do like this type of video, hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below. All those things help get this video to move up so we can get it out there to people who want to learn how to make money with plants. So first of all, let's start out with money is the root of all evil because people struggle in their hearts with wanting to make more money. And I, I'm not sure why this is. I think it makes them feel greedy, but it is not greedy to exchange value. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. But all money is, is a measure of value. That's all it is. It's a means of exchange. And you should not feel greedy about doing that. And you won't when you understand some of these concepts I'm going to bring to you. And to just get rid of that phrase, money is the root of all evil, right now, I'm going to tell you something. You're probably going to run to your Bible and open it up and look at it right now because you may not know this. But the Bible does not say that money is the root of all evil. It says the love of money is the root of all evil. So if you're after money and you're because that's all you want and you're worshiping money and you're putting it above God, you know, whether you're religious or not, if you're just, if your goal is money and you're just after money and that's your, you're a greedy little guy and that's all you want, then that is where the problem is. That's where the, the issue comes in. Money is just a means of exchange. That is all it is. So you got to get that whole thought that money's evil or money's bad. Money in and of itself is an inanimate object that does absolutely no bad or good or it does as good or bad as you want it to do with what you do with it. Don't worry, we'll tie all this into plants. First of all, let's talk about what your goal is. If your goal is to get money, I'm gonna tell you right now that nobody in this world cares about your goal of getting more money. Except for maybe your mama, I don't, <laughs> or your husband or your wife. But aside from those people, no one cares about that goal. What people care about is what's in it for them. Zig Ziglar said that. Everybody's tuned into the radio station, WIIFM, what's in it for me? So if nobody cares about your goal of making more money, what do they care about? How can you make more money with plants, knowing that accumulation of money is not evil? Well, you can give those people what's in it for them. Instead of focusing on money is your goal, focus on the value that you will provide for those people. And how can you do that? By doing what you already love doing, propagating and growing plants. And that's where this gets fun. That's where everything just ties and melds together. You guys are here on this channel watching this video because you love plants and you love plant propagation. That's why you're here. And so I just be willing to bet that that's a passion of yours that you like doing. You enjoy growing plants. And so why don't you take what you enjoy doing 
and just build that value, make your goal to grow those plants as nice as you possibly can. Enjoy every aspect of growing those plants, rooting the cuttings, potting them up, growing into the most healthy, beautiful plants you can so that you now hold something of great value to somebody else. And then those people will care what's in it for them in regard to what you've got. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Those people will want to seek you out because you've got something of value. They're thinking about what's in it for them, and so they're seeking out value. And when you've got that value because you're doing what you enjoy doing, they will then exchange something of value to them. Cash dollars. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's no different than exchanging an apple pie for the plant. So make your focus on providing value, on creating something that you can exchange for their value, and you will become more successful than you ever imagined. So let's try to wrap that back up into one big ball and get back on track in regard to plants. And what I'm gonna do here shortly is show you how you can take that value. You, you know, your goal now is not to make money. Your goal is to create value in your life grow by doing what you love doing so that you've got something of value that others are willing to give their value for. So that's your goal. I'm going to take you inside and we're going to get onto my computer and I'm going to figure out how to do a, like a record screen thing. And I'm going to show you step by step how I just recently made $74 within a couple hours of work just selling plants. It was super easy. I did hardly anything. And here's the plants that I sold. So these are those reaper peppers that I just grew. I germinated the seeds and grew out. And I'll put a link to those videos down below. And there is the money that I made from them. Jeez, there goes Henry right on cue. So, you know, I mean, this is what I want to show you guys because this is what people are like, how do I do that? Well, we're going to talk about that. So reaper pepper, I sold one of these guys for 10 bucks, right? Just one of them. And then ended up getting paid. I mean, we got, we ended up doing $74. That doesn't look like a lot, but I put almost no time into this. This was the value I created, and this was the money that somebody gave up for. Let's get them heads flipped around to you. <laughs> right? Just like Johnny. Anyway, so there's the value that I was given from the people. And when the people gave me this money, it didn't feel evil. There was no bad connotation. Nobody was getting swindled, they received something of value. I received something of value. I didn't need so many of these plants. I kept four of them for myself and to film for you guys. And I needed this instead. And so we just exchanged. The people who got these peppers were extremely happy. They thought they looked really healthy. They were talking about their salsa they were gonna make and how they were really into these kinds of peppers. They even asked me for more peppers. They were saying, do you grow scorpion peppers? Do you? And I'm, in my head, I'm going, how can I do more of this to do more of this? You know, but my goal is not this. If your goal is to reach into somebody's pocket and get this, you'll never achieve your goal because they're worried about what's in it for them. This is what's in it for them. And so you've got to be worried about how can I provide this value to them? And then you'll receive this. Don't chase the money, chase the value. Now you may be saying, Mike, $74, big whoop, man. But so here's what I'm kind of passionate about too. I am passionate about so many people out there that come to my channel and they come to the Facebook page and they say, like I had one person recently and you guys know I have that website there's links everywhere for it but it's a website with a little members area and I've got six hours of video on there and I've had people come to me and actually say Mike I want to buy your video your membership but I don't have the money and I don't charge hardly anything for this thing it's 47 bucks for a one-time lifetime subscription to it and it gives you all the ins and outs of what I do but they came to me and they said, I don't have any money, Mike. I, I just, I, I want this, but I don't have any money. Do I really need to buy it? And you know what I told them? Because I'm not after the money, guys. I told them, don't buy it. My recommendation is go through all my YouTube videos. It's all in there. I mean, I don't have every single detail, but it's pretty, you can learn a ton from those videos. And I've discouraged people, people over the years 
from buying those videos that tell me they don't have a lot of money. And so I'm passionate about those people who are in retirement or who are not making a lot of money, maybe at your job. So here, let's do this real quick. $74 isn't a lot of money. Okay, fine. But to somebody who is on social security, who's just retired and they don't have much of anything, 70, say they're making 13, I mean, a typical, I'd have to research it inside. I think typical, like middle of the road, social security income for a single person is like 13 to 1500 a month or something like that. So let's just say 1500. We'll go 74 divided by 1500. So that's a, that's a almost a 5% increase on their monthly revenue from about two hours worth of selling. It wasn't even two hours, it was probably 20 minutes worth of selling. It, the rest of it was just meeting people at different places. So 5% increase in your monthly income. That was from almost no effort at all in doing what I already love doing. So let's extrapolate that out a little more. 74, if I did that once a week, very easily manageable. And I'm gonna show you inside, we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna like get on my computer and show you the ad that I used, where I posted it, how I did it, and show you that I did this very discreetly because I, I know that this channel is big and I know that if I post something to people who know me, a lot of them might want to buy just because it's me and which is kind of crazy and feels a little weird to me but i, I never knew realized this thing was going to get this big but i specifically posted the ads that i posted to an area that i knew nobody knew me because i want to prove to you guys that if you got the right value the right product it will sell you don't have to do anything crazy to sell it you don't have to be popular you know nobody has to know you you can you can do this yourself right out of your home so let's take this 74 dollars what if i did that once a week that's 296 dollars what is that 296 divided by 1500 dollars that's your income look at that holy cow we're almost up to 20 percent we've just given ourselves a 20 percent raise 74 times 4 296 bucks, what could you do with that? You could go over to the ocean and get a hotel room and spend the night and have a good big meal and enjoy the night with your wife or your husband or a friend or by yourself. And you could do that once a month with that kind of income in retirement. And this just goes to say, same thing for people who just make a lower wage and don't have a whole lot of extra. Now this is just from not much time at all once a week, you know, a few minutes once a week doing what you love and you saw the number if you looked at those videos i'll have links down below if you watch those videos you'll see i only i, I only had 16 peppers i only sold nine of them for those 74 dollars thanks henry i only sold nine of them for those 24 dollars i gave three away to a friend a good friend mark walker down in texas put a link to his channel down below too that's getting to be fun he's getting good at these videos and uh it'll be fun in fact i know i'm getting off track here but I sent him three of these peppers and he's the one that's kind of got me going on these peppers and uh, I, uh, I, I'm i going to be real curious to see how they grow in Texas versus here because they're the same peppers. Anyway, when it, and then I kept four of those peppers for myself so when it boiled down I only sold nine of them for 24 bucks. Anyway, I gave three to Mark, I kept four for myself and I only sold nine of them for 74 bucks. If you just built an area that was four times that size, you could go 74. And I had people wanting to buy these things that I couldn't deliver on because I didn't have enough peppers. So there's a market and it's not just peppers, it's any plant guys, anything that you wanna do that you enjoy doing. So let's go 74. If I had an area four times the size and then four days or four once a week, we end up with $1,184. We've come close to doubling our income. Let's head inside, I think I've babbled enough. We'll head inside and we'll show you what I did. All right, so we're sitting here in front of my computer now and I wanted to show you guys how the nuts and bolts of how I sell plants online and how you can sell plants online as well. Uh, you can sell them online and mail them all over the world if you wanted to, if you've got the license for it, or you can sell them locally. And so I do wanna say one thing real quick. I do have eBay up here and we're gonna look at that in a second. We'll look at all these but I specifically did not use eBay for this because I know a lot of people know my eBay handle and I wanted to do this in a way that I could show you guys, even if nobody knows who you are and you just post 
an ad, you'll be able to sell plants. And so I, I specifically didn't use that. I started out with Facebook and Craigslist where nobody knows who you are anyway. And so this is, in fact, this is the Facebook ad that I did here. But let's go ahead and X out of this real quick and we'll come over here and uh, let's take a look at Facebook in general. So if you don't have a Facebook account, you should just go ahead and get one. Even if you don't want to use it to communicate with people, you can use it to sell plants. You can use it to buy plants too. So there's a little tab over here I go to and everybody has this. It's just called Marketplace. And if you click on that, you can go in here and see that people all over your area are buying and selling. And there are different groups within this marketplace that you can become a, uh, a member of. And it doesn't cost anything. You just get on there if you're not already on some groups in your local area. And you just request to be on their group. And they'll, you know, 99 times out of 100, they'll approve it. So you get on these different groups. I'm on like four or five of them, just local buy and sell groups for anything. So, you know, we got motorhomes, we got pianos, we got all kinds of stuff. But if we type in, uh, let's see here, search marketplace. I'm going to go ahead and type in pepper plants. All right. And then we'll hit enter and see what we get. So this is just going to be pretty much locally. So here we go. There's my post. I actually, um, I've gotten rid of it. I don't know why it's still showing, but, <laughs> but anyway, we've got carnivorous plants. We've got all kinds of plants popping up other than pepper plants, but that's okay. They're plants. And so then we've got sweet peppers here and we've got lemon scented habaneros. So people are selling pepper plants and seeds. Here we go. Here's one, $13. It says ship to you in stock. And then they got a little ad on here. I don't know if they're selling them. I don't know how many, but I, you know what? I guarantee you that the, they're selling these plants. Somebody's selling these plants somewhere. Um, in fact, did I just see? Yeah, it comes from Texas. It even tells you where it comes from. So, but you can do this locally too. You can get into buy and sell groups that are local to your area, which is what I did. And then when you post, it goes to the local people around you and you can just meet them in you know, a parking lot of a grocery store and sell them the plants. That's basically what I did. And so it makes it really easy. Or you could ship them if you don't want to meet people. All right, so this is the ad that I posted on Facebook and this was actually the second ad. I posted one ad and it went on for, I don't know, a few days and I got a sale off of that ad and sold five plants. And then uh, a few days went by and nothing sold. So I became a member of more local buy and sell groups and posted another ad. This was the second ad. And then immediately it sold the rest of them. So here we go. I got, you know, brand pucker butt company. I didn't even spell that right. Only four left. Get them while you can. They're hard to find. These are Carolina Reaper pepper plants that were started from seed by me. Nothing special about that. I purchased the seeds from the original creator of the Carolina Reaper pepper, so they are the real deal and as authentic as it comes. I'll do $8 each if you buy three or more. And the price per each of them was $10 if you bought just one. So there's the picture. The pictures aren't even that good, guys. The pictures aren't even that good. I just took some random pictures of these things in my grow tent and you've seen videos of that already. There, This all blends together, it's just a bunch of green, the pictures are not that good. This might have been a better picture, but there was no lighting. But that was it, that was my whole ad, and I sold all nine peppers uh, within that ad and the first one. The first one I posted was exactly like it. Um, it just, let's go back to it, it just uh, was worded a little different. Be, I'll show that to you in a minute, but anyway, I just reposted it again to get it to the top of the feed so people would see what would you know see it again and I'd be able to sell the others but the first time I posted it I sold four within I think it was that day and then I waited a few days and then posted it again and sold the rest of them just that same day I actually I think yeah I sold them that day and the next day I dropped them off to the person and I actually had more people wanting to buy them than I had pepper plants so you know, there's no problem at all selling these things. And that was just pepper plants. Um, there are so many different things you could sell on here, but let's get rid of that. And I'll show you. I also went on the second time, or was it the first time? See how I am. I already forget. One of the times I posted, I posted on Craigslist and we'll go pepper plant and see what pops up. I still haven't taken this ad down, although I need to. 
boom there it is all right so let's go here and click on this and you can see the ad right here on craigslist nobody knows who you are on here it makes it really nice and discreet and easy but there it is there was one of the pics i posted and then if we go through them similar pictures nothing special about them these are not fancy pictures at all same ad carolina reaper pepper plants ten dollars in yelm and then I've got the ad right down here. You guys can pause it and read all that if you want to. But nothing special at all about this thing. I mean, it's just really easy. Anybody can post on Craigslist. And so that was that site there. Now, I want to show you guys something. So that was where I posted, and I sold them almost immediately. You could do this. You could ramp this up and, and you know, germinate. 10 times the amount of seedlings and sell these things all day long. I could have made $740 within a week or two if I wanted to. More people than I had peppers were coming after them. So let's go over to here. Let's go to Etsy. And this is a cool site. Not everybody knows about this, but a lot of people do. It's getting more and more popular all the time. So Etsy, let's go to, let, in fact, right on the main page, welcome back mike yeah i did buy some kefir grains i'm kind of into that weird stuff anyway <laughs> anyway right on the main page because i've already looked into this kind of stuff carolina reapers i'm seeing them everywhere and by the way the reason it's showing that i already looked at all this stuff carolina reapers is because that's where i got my pricing that was how i decided on price it's all right here for you guys i just went to these some of these different sites and i said what are people selling these things for i didn't know i just did you know five minutes worth of research so you come down here and you go okay uh here it is three live carolina reaper plants and boom you click on the ad you can buy them all day long, $34.99, and you get three of them right there. They're very small. You can see not real big pepper plants, but they're good, healthy, strong plants. You know, they're $34.99. I charged $10 a piece. So that would have been $30. So it's right in there, right in the ballpark. Um, let's go down 71 reviews. So, you know, at least 71 people have bought these things. 71 people reviewed it. And then you can even go to, I don't know what else these people are selling. Look, amazing, shipped fast, well packaged, yay. There's what, there was a picture of a customer or that a customer sent. That's how they came packaged. That's how they got them. I mean, that, or it looks like maybe they potted them up afterwards. But look at that, beautiful, perfect, nice and easy to do. No problems at all. And this guy made $34.99. And then usually you have to pay for shipping. So they're making all of that money. I don't know if that's true here. Um, actually, it doesn't. I don't know if it says. It says somewhere. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There it is. Selling pepper plants right there. And if you click on this person, five, look at this. 500 sales right there. So you, you can go to their actual page. But it looks like it showed it there anyway. 500 sales. You see that right there? Look at that, 500 sales, that's crazy. These people are selling plants, look at this. 34.99, 34.99 times 500 sales. $17,495, did I do that right? Does that even make sense? That's insane, guys. That's a whole second income if you're retired or you know, you're not working a real high paying job, there you go, there it is. That's just, that's absolutely insane. All right, let's get rid of calculator. Look at all these. Yellow Scotch Bonnets, $34.99. They're selling three of all of these, $34.99 all day long. And they've sold five, they've made 500 sales. So that is $17,000. I don't know how much time it's taken them to do that, but $17,000 they've made selling pepper plants. You could do this right out of your living room, guys. Right out of your living room. Okay, so that's just one example. That's Etsy. Anybody can get on there and start a page and start selling through Etsy. All right, let's go to, I like this one, Offer Up. This is a fun one. My wife and I get on here and we find things all the time. All right, let's just do uh, something different. Let's do, because it doesn't have to be pepper plants, house plants. Let's do house plants. It doesn't have to be pepper plants. It can be anything that you want. It really can. And you can sell them all over the country or you can do it locally. Here you go. Look at this, look at all these house plants. 25 bucks for a money tree, isn't that beautiful? Live house plant, live money tree. Local pickup, 32 miles away, even tells you how far away they are. 
and they've got an ad, little ad there, money tree, live house plant. Doesn't need to be special. Pictures, better pictures are better. They will, you know, that you want to catch people's attention, but nothing special about it. Somebody just took that picture on their kitchen table. It looks like. I mean, look at that. Forty-five dollars, white bird of paradise. If you love growing bird of paradise, grow bird of paradise. So, in fact, let's click on this. Look at this. This is insane, guys. I love this stuff. All right, come on, come on, load computer. Bird of Paradise, look at that. That looks clean. It looks like they just potted that thing up. Do you know how to propagate Bird of Paradise? You divide it. It looks to me, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? It looks to me, in fact, I might go buy this thing. It, it looks to me like it probably came in a bigger pot. She divided up a whole bunch of them and then put them into individual pots. I could be wrong. I don't know, guys. I'm just saying you could do that. You can do that with the peace lilies. I just showed you that video the other day. Do that with the peace lilies. I end up with seven of them and sell them. Look at that, 45 bucks each. What if you grew one of these in your living room in under a light in a massive pot? Let's do it. And you sold them for 45 each times seven of them. Boom, $315. Isn't that just, I mean, it's insane. And you're enjoying what you're doing. You're growing value in your own living room, and it takes nothing to do this online right from your own home. You don't even have to leave your home to post these ads. It's pretty cool. Anyway, and how do we know they're selling? Because if you go over here to Etsy, this stuff, and it's not just peppers. You could do this with anything. They're selling all day long, all day. 500 sales under that one person's ad. Look, Let's go to a different one. Let, let's do houseplants on Etsy house actually let's just let's do this put those let's see what let's see if anybody's selling pothos <laughs> sure enough there it is lots of people are selling golden pothos four inch pot 12.95 golden pothos live indoor house plant 22.50 we got pothos selling all day long 1600 look at that 1671 sales 20,000 pothos sold. Look at that. Golden pothos, 20,000 sales these people have. Look at that. Okay. I mean, you guys really don't need to ask any more questions about this. Are they selling? Yeah, they're selling. They're selling all over the place. Okay. Let's go to eBay. I love eBay. eBay's so much fun. In fact, I don't need to go anywhere. I already found it. Carolina Reaper pepper plants. Now, here's one I really like because I was looking through this earlier. This is where I got some of my pricing from too, is eBay. And anybody can do this from anywhere in the world, really. I like this ad, look at this. The picture's horrible, they need a better picture. In fact, I would make that the number one picture. That's the one that catches my eye right there. I love that picture, look at that. They need to change that. This is a horrible picture. It's horrible. But that's okay. It shows you that they got little pepper blooms growing on them. But there it is. There's the peppers. You're getting three of them, it looks like. Two of them. Is it two of them? I don't know how many you get. 18 to 24 inch with peppers. Carolina Reaper seedling. Hot pepper. $17.99. The buyer pays shipping. $13.99. And people will happily pay that. It's just what it costs to ship these days. But that's what they're making. Six available, three sold. Let's get out our little calculator. $17.99 times three. $53.97. Boom. Right there. You could do come on. Come on, computer. You could do this all day long, right out of your living room. All day long. And look at all the different plants. These guys are selling. Let, let's go back here a sec and let's just uh Let's see if we can find another plant. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do pothos again. Or no, 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 no. Let's do peace lily. Because that's the one that's easy to divide and just grow. It takes nothing to grow them. Look at that. People are selling house plant. Peace lily. Peace lily. Peace lily. There they are. I'll bet you could even sell these is bare root. Ship them bare root. I might do that. House plant. Peace lily. Look at that. Let's go to this one. Two sold at $12.50 each. 25 bucks. Boom. There you go. Did I do math right? I think I did. And you just get a little ad down there. Let's see what else they got going on. Free shipping. Okay, so they actually paid for shipping. I don't know how they're selling that and paying for shipping. I wonder if it is bare root. Probably is. Let's go. I want to find. Let's do pothos because I think there's going to be a lot of them. Pothos is so popular. 
All right, let's go. Golden Pothos, Devil's IV, the Devil's IV. All right, 299, 2,759 sold. That's what I wanted to show you guys. It tells you right here on eBay, almost 3,000 sold. Let's do the math now. And that's for six leaves per four inch pot. So let's, uh, let's get our little calculator. Did I lose it? I lost my calculator. Let's get my calculator. All right, got the calculator out. We're gonna go two, and look at it real quick. Look at shipping. $4.10. This is not free shipping, so they're making $2.99. I mean, you always got to think about taxes, but times 2,759. I don't know in what time frame they're doing that. You know, maybe it's been a year. I don't know. Maybe they just keep reposting the same ad. Maybe it's been a week. $8,249. Even if it took you a year to do that, I mean, what kind of a vacation could you take with that? If you're living on a fixed income, that's absolutely amazing. I just, I'm blown away every time I see that. Okay, so that's Pothos. I did want to show you guys something else here. Oh yeah, that's what it was. So it doesn't have to be just Pothos. That, that was one of the points I wanted to make. I keep showing you like my peppers and Pothos, but you know, like, okay, my dad likes to grow grasses, okay? Like different kinds of grasses, like uh, what's that one called? Uh, blood grass or anyway, just he, he likes pompous grasses, all that kind of stuff. So let's just go uh, ornamental grasses. You could get into this and in your backyard, you could set up a little frame and just grow like 30 different varieties of grasses and let's see, these are all pompous grass. Oh, here, this is the kind of stuff he likes. Blue fescue, and there's another one. It's something like this maybe, but some there are people that are really into grasses, and I'm gonna prove it to you. I've never even looked at this on here. This is the first time. I'm just ornamental grass seed. I'm just showing this to you guys. Okay, oh, there it is, mondo grass. That's the one he really likes, black mondo grass. So let's click on that. Let's just click on the Mondo grass, dude. All right, look at that, 28 sold. If you liked Mondo grass, if you were like, I love Mondo grass and you're growing it all around your your house, you could set up a frame. You can multiply this stuff. It's, it's propagated by division. You could just grow it and just pump it full of water and nutrients all summer long. These things would multiply like crazy, divide them up, replant them, and just wait until they get big and then divide the heck out of them. They've sold 28 of these already, guys. Look at this. And buyer pays shipping. Let's go to the calculator. All right, $4.99. Oh, there's seeds. See, I got caught. Don't forget to look at the ad. Grass seeds, what is that all about? Anyway, let's just keep doing the math. They sold 28 of them. 4.99 times 28. Thirty-nine bucks. All right. Those are seeds though. I wanna let's get out of here. Come on, seeds. Give me a break. Let's go find let's find those uh blue fescue. 100 blue fe oh, those are seeds too. Okay, pompous grass. We'll do pompous grass. White pompous grass, perennial, ornamental, one live plant. Boom. Here we go. Twelve available. Eight sold. So eight sold at nineteen ninety-nine. Let's get it out. Nineteen. 99 times 8, 159.92. And you can do this all day long on here, I'm sure. And this is just one little tiny niche, one niche. It's it's absolutely nuts. And these are these are cheaper plants. I, I mean, I'm just going through things off the top of my head anyway. So there you go. There you got Facebook. Anybody can sell this stuff. You don't have to be known. Nobody has to know who you are. You don't have to be selling them based on your name. You could sell them on Facebook. You could sell them on, you know, on uh, Craigslist. You can get on eBay. You can, you know, get on Etsy. We got OfferUp anywhere. And you guys can make an extra thousand bucks a month if you wanted to. You could make an extra, I don't know, the sky's the limit. Just get excited pick what you want to grow, pick what you enjoy, and then just advertise it. You know, somebody's going to love what you've got to offer. I guarantee. See, look, somebody's going to buy that 1966 Chevelle. I'm telling you. Just do it, guys. Get out there and make it happen.
So that's all there is to it, guys. This stuff is child's play. I'm telling you, it is so easy. And once you start getting into a rhythm of doing this, you're going to get good and you're going to get faster and you're going to get better at what you're doing. But what you need to focus on first is what do I enjoy growing? What do I enjoy doing? You know, you don't, you don't want to focus on the money. Don't focus on making lots of money. You will never make money that way. Focus on what you enjoy, and then even if you don't make anything, you're going to enjoy it. But I guarantee you, you're going to make something. If you're living on a fixed income, guys, I, I know I'm getting kind of wound up, but I'm super passionate about this because I know there's so many people living on fixed incomes, and they're just trying to scrimp by, and they love plants, and they want to learn how to make an extra little bit. You can make more than an extra little bit. Just because you're retired doesn't mean life's over. And I know some of you know that and some of you don't. And so I'm here to tell you right now, forget Social Security. Right out of your living room, you could be doubling your income right now. Heck, even at the very minimum, you could make an extra 100 bucks a month just really, really easily right out of your living room. So I know this is a little off the beaten path, but I've gotten some requests for it and I'm really passionate about helping you guys achieve the goals that you want to achieve. So I hope you did learn something from this video. Hopefully it wasn't just nonsense that you've already known or heard about before, or tried yourself, but it's it's real, it can be done by you. Just chase the value, build value, and then other value that you're looking for will come to you. So if you guys like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along and see more fantastic gardening videos because we're heading into spring eventually here real soon. Have a fantastic week guys and I'll see you in the next video. Adios. Oh, by the way, have I proven it to you yet? Money really does grow on trees. Yee!